What's up, everybody? Happy Juneteenth. I hope everybody is enjoying their day today. I hope you guys got the day off too as well. I got the day off, thank God, because I am still recuperating from the vacation that my daughter and I took. So y'all, we took a nine-day vacation and it was amazing. So on June 9th, me and my daughter flew from Atlanta down to Miami, Florida. We spent a day in Florida. From Florida, we took an eight-day carnival cruise to Aruba, Curacao, La Romana, Dominican Republic, and Amber Cove, Dominican Republic. We thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. And y'all, quite frankly, I'm ready for another vacation. That's just it. Okay, I'm ready for our next adventure. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, let's get into this drama between Kamora Lee Simmons, Russell Simmons, Ming Lee Simmons, and Aoki Simmons. So it went down between all of them, right? So what all started this drama that transpired and went down from Father's Day and today? So Ming Lee went on to Instagram yesterday and she wished her mama happy father's day and uh let's just say that russell was not feeling that he was like hell to the no 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 so he went on to his instagram and he said stop telling fathers they should have fought harder to see children and start asking mothers why he had to fight at all so y'all it kind of seemed like he's saying that Kamora kept his kids away from him who knows and then he goes on to say on instagram the father you have is the perfect father for the evolution of your soul and the lessons that you needed to learn in this lifetime so russell felt some type of way that he was not wished a happy father's day and y'all apparently according to his children uh he really don't see them like that and he really has not been taking care of them and he's been accused of being verbally abusive too like he cursed them out real bad like they are some strangers on the street and komora vouched for that too so of course you know mama bear miss komora she got to on the internet and she you know defended her children of course so this is what she said honey let's take a look and shout out to the shade room for this information you know and i never get into this i usually let people go and rant and rave it's funny though how this particular person in question because i could go in on a, a few of them one by one um but it's funny how this particular person if you again go look back You'll see on their page that they post all these pictures like we're together, like we're friends. They've even posted pictures and then said like, I just got off the phone with my kids. They sent me this great picture. None of that's true. I like receipts. So of course I have text messages. I have messages from all my kids. You know, you can go and see. I think the bottom line, like probably the breaking point for all of this was uh, over the past many months um, when their dad just sort of cut them off. Um, he was contributing a little bit of cash to their like monthly, you know, college spending, not much, a couple hundred dollars, probably maybe $500. And so one day he just kind of cut the kids off. There was no more money coming in, no more like allowance, quote unquote allowance. I think he probably did that just to double up the expenses on me, which is no problem. I stepped up, I did it. But when he did this, it was around um, just before finals and graduation. It was some months ago, just before finals and graduation. And he did it without telling the kids or talking to the kids or anything. He did it, it's funny, after he did an interview with... Um, I heard some clips from an interview with uh, this young man. I don't know, but I see him a lot. I think his name is Academic or DJ Academic. Oh, happy Juneteenth, you guys. We're doing all this on Juneteenth. Come on, let it go. Let it out. Um, so I saw in that clip, that was some months ago too. You can go and reference it and find it, where he told this guy, he was on and on about this guy, and I think it was about old school hip hop heads and how you should honor them, which I believe you should. Uh, but he was saying to the guy, like, I'm so rich, I got this and I got that, and I'm this and that. None of that could be further from the truth. 
you know, he has turned around. And then again, I have records and evidence of this where he's told the kids in writing, we have it, text messages. I'm broke. I this, I that. I can't, you know, go get it from your mom. Now, meanwhile, I have been financially carrying this person probably for the last at least 10 years, myself and my ex-husband. Again, this is all proven with receipts. So if whatever, somebody doesn't like what I'm saying, you know, we could talk about it. We can come, we can open up our receipts. I, I love it. I love receipts. Um, but I've taken care of this person to the tune of many, many, many millions of dollars to help with their bills, their overhead, their companies that they run into the ground, their unsuccessful bids, all of their stuff. Um, I don't necessarily speak for my kids, but I think I could take probably a good shot at it. They're sleeping right now because it's not even 8.30 in the morning. But my two oldest girls, they're young women. They're young women of the world. Um, I think that was a very, that was very tough for them that their dad like kind of cut them off and cut off conversation and cut off try helping them. And he's even said things to them like, why did you go to college? You shouldn't have gone to college. You wasted that money. You could have saved it while I'm up here trying to hustle the kids over the finish line. We didn't just go through a divorce. We went through this divorce. I don't know, 20 years ago. 20 some odd years ago. So this is not a situation. Again, you can get receipts. You can go see where they say like, oh, kids been brainwashed. But we've been fine up until these past several years. So, you know, what happened? All of a sudden now the kids are brainwashed. All of a sudden now these young women who are grown women are babies. You know, you they, they have their own relationship with you. You have their, your own non-existent relationship with them. I'm just asking that you please leave us alone. You know, I've tried to go to lawyers and get help. I've tried to show all the crazy texts I've had to block. Like, you do crazy shit, like send pic pic flowers to yourself and take a picture and send post it on the gram and tell everybody I sent you flowers. Again, I have receipts of all of this. I have receipts from your office saying that you sent flowers to yourself. I didn't just start to see my kids. We didn't just go through a divorce. We went through this divorce, I don't know, 20 years. Mm. So y'all heard the tea that Kimora had to spill on Russell. So basically she's been saying that Russell been getting on Beyonce's internet and lying on her name. Like he has been inserting her in things that wasn't even true. So, and some of the stuff that he, she said that he did was absolutely crazy. Like he would buy his own self flowers and then sent it to himself and saying that Kimora sent it to him. Yeah, that's a little crazy. <laughs> like, you doing a little too much, Russell. Allegedly. So, um, yeah, that's weird. That's really, really weird. But even just looking at some of his videos, he's weird anyway. Like, he's a very weird person. So, yeah. And Kimora posted on her Instagram story and said, I'm so sorry, have to do this, but this man has been threatening my kids' lives. I'm hearing so much more. We won't be bullied, threatened, or afraid. Who gives a F? Girl, Russell is doing a little too much, honey. Russell, chill out. Pipe down, please. Allegedly. And, okay, so after Kimora spilled the tea, Aoki gets on and she starts spilling the tea as well, y'all. Like, she spilled some tea. So, let's get into what Aoki had to say. And listen, if I mess her name up, please excuse me. Aoki. <laughs> I did also want to come on here and say that a lot, like, I can't, between a lot of people who are close to him and who have experienced how he is, I mean, just lashed out at anyone he can and completely change the person that he is a lot of us feel like maybe something is wrong like mentally i don't know it, he's older i bipolar i don't know but he has completely changed i will come on here and talk about whatever i want because it's my life and i'm the one suffering so he has completely changed the couple texts I just had 
Those are only the beginning. I'm going to go through them if he's going to... I don't want to post a ton. But if he tries to say that, like, it's not happening, I will... I have screen recordings. I have voice memos of things that you... It doesn't sound like a human being. He's, like, shrieking and yelling. And, I mean, he sounds, like, possessed. So, I will say... I'm not even sure if it's, like, to his credit. But the best explanation I have is something mental going on because i used to be very close to my dad he used to be a good co-parent close with my mom my stepdad he was his godfather to my little brothers we all went on vacation together every year like very close well well after the divorce everyone was really happy when he had business ventures my mom would invest in them like good friends he'd come stay with us like we'd come stay there we don't like all the time everyone together and then really he suddenly just decided that like if we don't agree it's oh you're all bitches like your mother i hate you all these fucking bitches are the same oh my i mean he's just a different person like i he has like looked me in the eye and i've been like i need help i w- i was in greece doing the camp and i was like you cut off my debit card i only got like a hundred couple hundred dollars a month as a minor and i was like i'm in a foreign country and my debit card won't work. I can't even add money to it. Can you help me? And he was just like, no, I, I sure hope that you don't die on the streets of, of Thessaloniki. And I was like, no, no, but like, I'm really stranded out here. Um, I need help. And he's like, well, I sh- maybe you should ask your mother not to sue me. And I'm like, you're suing her. And he's like, well, maybe when you bitches decide you're going to like be reasonable, I'll help you. And I'm like, this is unsafe. It's nighttime. I, like, what? You cut me off out of nowhere. And he did it, like, on purpose. He was like, oh, enjoy camp. I put, some, like, you're good to go. I put money in your car. And then he cut it off when I landed. So I'd be stranded. My mom helped me. It was fun. Worst things have happened. I'm just saying, he'll, like, look me in the eye and be like, well, maybe when you bitches decide to, like, threatening me. So I felt that was important to include because if we do continue to get into it and some of the things that I post are going to look crazy and I agree, they're crazy. And it would honestly make me feel better if something was severely wrong because this is just not the father that I know or the father that I've had. You know, like to this day, I don't even, I would never let a man talk any kind of way to me because my dad was always good to me and then he just completely changed. So I just want to include that, that it could be that, and you don't, I don't know his mental situation, but like he used to do kind of crazy stuff and then say he had COVID. So we'd all call him or if we'd say, Hey, I need some space. Cause all you do is tell me how awful I am and how I have my mom's awful shitty bitch ass cunt genetics. So, Hey, look, I'm in school. And can you not harass me when I'm in school? He wasn't paying for school, by the way. Can you not harass me? That we don't want to, that we don't want to, um, I have trauma. I'm not, like, I I care about my family. I don't like to have this out there. But he uses that against you. Well, what are you going to do about it? You're not going to say something. So now I'm saying something. And if you're going to say one more thing about, like, you should be in private in therapy, he, get off, please. Because I'm telling you, he uses that against me, and I'm not going to have it. And my sister and my mother, and I'm not going to have it. And he's going to spin the whole narrative about, oh, your mom turned you against me. I am very independent-minded. You can ask my mom. She has an issue with me every day since I was four. I want to cut my hair. I want to move out. I want to do this. And she's like, we negotiate all the time. I'm not the type to, like, whatever you say, mommy. I'm, like, kind of an independent individual in that way. She would know. She raised me. It was a lot of work. So he's going to say, she t- like, she's not with me. I'm in New York. Like I said, staying with a friend because he will not even give me a hundred bucks for rent, which is fine. I'm saving. But like, all that money you're crying, he doesn't give me a dollar. Not that you need it. You know, every people work. People are 18, 20. They don't have parental support. I don't support me. Yeah. But that's all I really have to say, I guess. I think I covered all the points. It's been many years, so don't tell me this is just drama that just started. I've been living in it. It's been terribly directed at the children. It's not like I could just stay out of it. We tried. I would be in school, living, happy Father's Day, happy Mother's Day, just... And my mom, 
If I asked a question, she'd be like, this is not your concern. But any time I allowed him into my life, even to have lunch, he would start yelling about what, it like, tell your mom to do that. And I was like, I can't, what? Cursing, saying terrible words. If you don't agree with him immediately, it's immediately cursed out, foul things. Like, if you don't immediately say, oh my God, I hate my mother too. Like, you're in trouble. So... Don't tell me this has just started. I, 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 like, I don't really care if I seem crazy because I know that I'm not. And like I said, I will release every email. I'll release my entire WhatsApp blog because I have behaved as well as I could have at 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I have behaved as well as I could. Please give me some space. I don't want to talk about that. Well, I don't want to hear you say that about my mom. Could you please stop? Please don't call my friends. Please don't call my boyfriend. Please don't call my friends at school. Please don't DM my friends at school on Instagram to harass me. Please don't threaten my job. Please don't send people to threaten my sister. I have done it the best I possibly could. And I mean that. On my own. Like, I, it's not... Because he and my mom have had disagreements. I'm not, I'm not involved in them. But he forces me to be involved. Even now... He'll say I didn't want drama. I have texts of him saying, go on live. No one will believe you. Do it. Go ahead. Nobody cares. Fine. Let's go then. Go on live. See if anyone believes you. I'm Russell Simmons. See who believes you. So, you know. And, you know, some of the stuff I was not able to get, the Shade Room posted it. So, I got some things from them too as well. But I did go on Aoki's Instagram page and she put a lot of stuff in her stories as well. So this is some of the posts that she put in her stories. And make sure you pause it so y'all can read everything because your girl is not about to read all this stuff. Okay? Okay. Okay, so you saw the video from a Oki and y'all, she slick tried to say that Russell was bipolar. She cut herself off when she said, was about to say bipolar, but that's what she was about to say, allegedly. Um, so anyway, y'all, so what do y'all think about all this drama that was going on with Russell, Kimura, Ming, and Aoki, honey. They over here spilling the tea about Russell, y'all. And I don't want to make this video too long, so I don't have too much to say. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section. So comment down below, let me know your thoughts. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Share this video if you like. Make sure you like this video as well. And y'all stay tuned for the next video. Alrighty, bye.